Well, hi there, everybody, and welcome back again for another uh, game with the Baseball Replay Journal. We have the uh, New York Giants at 8-1 and one hosting the 3-7 and seven Brooklyn Dodgers, and you know what kind of game this is going to be. Here's Jackie Robinson up there, takes a ball from uh, Sheldon Jones, and there's a strike, 1-1 one one the count now on Jackie. And uh, Robinson tries to pull that one, hits it over to Curry, throws it over to Mize at first for the out, one away. Here is Marv Rackley now hitting that number two hole. And uh, Marv Rackley, one of the few surprises here for the Dodgers that has gone well, 2-1 and one now the count on him. And he hits a ground ball up the middle for a base hit, another base hit that's going to help that uh, batting average. And here is Pee Wee Reese hitting 250. There's a ground ball over to Kerr, and uh, he flips over to Lork for one out a second, over to first, trying to complete the play, but Reese is too fast for that. Two outs now, and uh, here's Duke Snyder, takes a strike. And there's one high and inside, one and one. That went slow, two and one out of the count. And there's a line drive up the middle, and it bounces off of Jones's glove. Uh, hit gets hit over there to a Kerr, unable to make a play. Runners in first and second now, and here's Carl Ferrillo. And we'll see what Ferrillo can do. One and zero now of the count, and it's two and zero on Ferrillo. And he hits a hard liner over to Gordon at left left side, and Sid grabs it for the out, and that does that. We go to the bottom of the first inning, and uh, here is Sid Gordon to face Preacher Rowe. Gordon pokes at the ball, gets a base hit to center field, and uh, just like that, the Giants are threatening right away, and here comes Willard Marshall, and we are running. And uh, Gordon is gone, going, and Marshall hits one to deep, deep down the right field line, and it's up there, and it is gone. That is a home run, just like that. Bottom of the first inning, the Giants go up 2 nothing over the Dodgers, and uh, if you are a Brooklyn Dodgers fan, I tell you, this has been a difficult, difficult replay for you. I mean, man, oh, man, every time you think you're going to get a break, every time that you think that uh, something's going to go your way, every single time you think that maybe this is the day you find yourself down and they are in a hole just like that, bottom of the first inning, you give up a base hit, and then the next man comes up and he hits a two-run home run over there to right field uh, here in the polo grounds, and it's 2 nothing Giants, and here's Bobby Thompson. And he takes a breaking ball for a ball, 1-0 and out of the count. Now it's 1-1. One one. Preacher Rowe looks in there, makes a uh, pitch. And that one is deep, high, and out of there to left field. Bobby Thompson and the Giants go back-to-back -back here in the bottom of the first inning. And it is 3-0 New York, just like that. And um, what was I saying? You know, I've said this before, and um, I think it really shows here the um, 1949 uh, Brooklyn Dodgers really need Don Newcomb. Newcomb at this point in the season is still in the minor leagues and is um, steaming over the fact that he wasn't brought up to the majors and maybe racism, maybe something else. Who knows? Whitey Lockman has no two count on him. But this Dodger pitching staff needs some help. And there's a ball to Lockman, one and two. Now nobody out here, two and two, three nothing Giants. And uh, there's a foul ball, still uh, two and two. And uh, Lockman hits one deep to center field for a double, first double of the year. And here comes Johnny Mize. And that's one in there for a strike, 0 and 1. Lockman in second base, and now it's 1 and 1. And uh, 3 0 Giants here in the early going. 2 and 1 now is the count on Johnny, and now it's 2 and 2. And uh, now it's a full count on him as Rowe misses again, and that one's hit hard. And my goodness, Johnny Mize with the home run. Third home run of the inning for the Giants. Third home run of the inning. There's nobody out yet. And it's 5 nothing New York, and this game, you can forget about it, this game has turned into an absolute laughter right from the start, and I thought for sure that this would be a close one, and um, it's not looking like a close one at all. And uh, I tell you, it's, uh, it's just that sort of season. It's been that sort of season so far for the Brooklyn Dodgers. I know that it's only April, but, man, if they're going to come back... And the wind isn't even blowing out, it's blowing in. If the Dodgers are going to come back in this season and make something happen as Buddy Kerr takes the ball, they're going to have to do it quickly. And now it's 1-1, one and one, the count on Kerr. And there's one in the corner, 1-2. and two. And that one's off the corner, 2-2. Two and two. And that's off the outside corner again, full count. Preacher Rose really having problems here, 22 pitches in this inning. And uh, Kerr holds up and gets the walk. Still nobody out as Walker Cooper comes up there. And uh, there's a drive in the gap in left center field, and that is a base hit, and that uh, sends Kerr to third base. And there's a pitching change already, and it's Pat McLaughlin coming up. Now, if you remember, if you've been watching these games, and if you haven't, what are you doing? If you remember, one of the problems that we have with the Dodgers is this pitching staff and this bullpen. We get to this bullpen, and who knows what's going to happen. Here's Jack Lork, and he takes a strike, and there's a ball one and one now the count on Lork, and he fouls one off, one and two now on him. And another foul ball past third base, one and two, and that's up at the shoulders, two and two. Swinging a pop up over to Gil Hodges, and he makes the play for the first out of the inning. Finally, Brooklyn gets an out, and here comes Sheldon Jones, the pitcher. And uh, that's uh, low to him, one and one. 
And it's one and two now on Jones. And he takes a strike three looking. And uh, here comes Sid Gordon. The Giants have batted around. Sid Gordon comes up. He had a base hit already in this game. One and none out of the count on him. He hits the ball hard over to Cox at third base. He has all day. He makes the play at first. And that does it. Five nothing though, Giants. We go to the top of the second inning. And it's 0-2 here on Gil Hodges in the early going. And he fouls one off. And uh, there's uh, there's an appeal play, and there's no swing on it. One and two now, and there's a little fly ball over to Thompson in center field. He meets the catch, one out. Billy Cox comes up, hits another fly ball over to Thompson for the second out, and here's Roy Campanella. Campanella hitting deep in this lineup, not because he's a bad hitter, but because he can't hit. He's hitting 179 so far, and when you're hitting 179, everything looks bad, and he gets a base hit there that just bounces in front of Thompson in center field. Here is Pat McLaughlin, who's going to hit for himself. One and one now the count on him. McLaughlin only hit for himself, had three at bats in the regular season, in the real year. One and two now the count on McLaughlin, but what can you do? And there's a strike three called, and McLaughlin's out on strikes. We go to the bottom of the second inning. Here's Willard Marshall. He uh, knocked this game open in the bottom of the first inning for the Giants. Two and oh the count on him. And uh, two and one now as he fouls that one back. Two and two as uh, that one's also fell back and out of play. There's a grounder over between first and second. Jackie Robinson's got it, makes a play at first, just like that one away. Here's Bobby Thompson, 0 and 1 the count on Bobby, 1 and 1 now. And uh, it's 2 and 1 as uh, that pitch misses, and it's 3 and 1 now. And that's inside. Thompson walks. New York has a man on here, bottom of the second inning, up 5 0. Here's Whitey Lockman, and he hits a ground ball. Base hit past the diving Reese. And Thompson with a chance to go on to third base, and uh, we're not going to do that with a 5 nothing lead. There's no point. Johnny Mize comes up now, runners on first and second. And Mize had the home run last time. He hits a little ground ball over to Hodges, who does it himself, moves the runners up. Runners on second and third now for Buddy Kerr. He takes a strike 0-1 one and, one, oh and, one, and a ball 1-1 one and one now. And there's a strike of the belt 1-2, and two, and that's out of play, fouled off 1-2. and two. That's a low pitch 2-2. Two and two. There's a ground ball weak towards third base, and uh, they grab it and throw over to first for the out and make it, and uh, we go to the top of the third inning. No score for Brooklyn, five for the Giants. There's a strike in there to Jackie Robinson and a ball one and one now to count on him. And there's a bunt attempt by Johnson uh, Robinson, but that's off the plate. Now there's a ground ball over to third at short, or to Kerr at short, and he makes the play to first for the out one away, and here is Marv Rackley, a base hit last time. Oh, one and no now to count on Rackley. And he fouls one off, one and one. That's bounced off the mound, and uh, Kerr grabs it. That uh, short throws over to first for the out, two away. And here is Pee Wee Reese. That's inside for a ball, one and no. The count, one and one now is the count on Reese. And that's outside, two and one now, two and one. The pitch is in there, and it's three and one now on Pee Wee. It's outside and low, and he walks him, and Reese uh, walks there. And uh, here comes Duke Snyder, runner on first base, and uh, it's an 0-2 count on the Duke of Flatbush. And uh, one and two now is a count on him. And uh, there's a uh, called strike, I believe, on Snyder for strike three. And we go to the bottom of the third inning, and it's a 5 nothing lead still for New York. One and one now the count on Cooper, and it's two and one there to Walker Cooper up there at the play. And there's a hard grounder to the left side in the hole, and Cox makes the play. He dives for it, gets dirty, but can't make the throw to first. Base hit for Walker Cooper, and here comes Jack Lork, runner on first base. 5 nothing Giants, 0-1, oh no outs here in the bottom of the third. One and two now the count on Lork. That one's just low, two and two. And now it's full and two, full count, three and two, full count on Lork. He fouls one back, full count still, and that one's another foul ball chopped by on third base. And then there is strike three, and uh, there's your first out as Lork strikes out. Here comes um, Sheldon Jones now hitting against uh, McLaughlin. McLaughlin actually pitching pretty well. There's a little ground ball over to uh, Robinson at second base. Flips over to Reese at short, and then on to first for the double play. And we go to the top of the fourth inning, and the Giants have been quiet here since uh, scoring those five runs. One and one now the count on Carl Ferrillo, and he uh, hits one softly to, to short, and it's too soft for Kerr to make the play at first. The throw is laid, and Ferrillo's on with a base hit, and now Gil Hodges is up there and takes a strike, 0 and 1 the count. And it's 0 and 2 now as he takes another strike. And that's popped up behind the plate, nothing doing. And there's a ground ball to Gordon at third base, goes to Lork at uh, second, and the throw is in the dirt. Everybody ends up being safe. Instead of a double play and nobody on with two outs, now you have uh, two runners on with nobody out, and here's Billy Cox. Cox takes the ball, 1-0 oh the count on him. There's a uh, fly ball up to uh, center field over to Thompson. He makes the play, and Ferrilla moves over to third base, and that brings up Roy Campanella, runners in first and third. New York looking for the double play, and uh, there's a foul ball. And there's one with home run depth to left field. The hooks just fell. Oh, and two now the count on Roy. Ground ball to short. 
Curry's got it. Over to second, over to first for the uh, double play. Brooklyn wastes the golden scoring opportunity. We go to the bob in the fourth inning now. Still 5 nothing Giants. Here is Sid Gordon. And uh, he takes the ball 1-0 the count now on Sid. It's a fly, uh, pop-up over to Snyder in center field. The Duke makes the play, one out. Here's Willard Marshall, and um, he uh, grabs and throws on the run uh, to nip uh, Marshall there first base for the second out. Uh, Marshall first ball swinging. We have two outs quickly here, bottom of the fourth inning, but still 5 nothing Giants. 0-2 oh, the count of Bobby Thompson, and uh, he strikes on the three pitches just like that. We go to the top of the fifth. Here's Pat McLaughlin hitting for himself again. 0-1 oh, the count as he takes a strike, and there's a ground ball over to Lorca's second base. Gets his man at first for the out. One away. Here's Jackie Robinson. There's a strike in there to Jackie. That's inside. 1-1 one one. now the count on Jackie. He fouls one off. 1-2. One and two. and uh, there is a liner that goes just beyond Kerr out to Lockman in center field, or in left field, rather, for a base hit. And Robinson's the runner in first base. Robinson, very, very dangerous, of course. A little ground ball over to Lork. He makes the play over to Kerr to get Robinson, the lead runner, but they're unable to uh, force uh, to get Rackley at first base because of his speed. Runner on first base now, but with two away. And here's Pee Wee Reese, one to know the count on him now. Liner to third base. Gordon jumps up and grabs that one just with the best of him and gets it for the out. We go to the bottom of the fifth inning. Whitey Lockman now is going to face Johnny Van Cook. And uh, Johnny Van Cook, Van Cook throws a ball to him. Now another ball, two and no now the count on Lockman. There's a foul ball, two and one. That's hit a long way out to deep right field, and that is a home run for Whitey Lockman. Lockman now 3-for-3 three three in this game, and uh, he gets the home run. He gets 6 nothing Giants, and uh, this is turning into a laughter, isn't it? Johnny Mize now has a home run of his own in this game. 2-0 and oh now the count on Johnny, and that's wide 3-0. and oh, And uh, the other Johnny, Van Crook, uh, Van Cook, uh, comes in there with a strike. 3-1 and one now the count. And that's inside by about a foot, and Mize draws the walk, and I don't think that uh, Mr. Van Kirk is going to be on there, out there for much longer. We may see the whole Brooklyn bullpen here today. There's Buddy Kerr, and uh, there's a ball to him, and that one's high again, ball two. And there's a strike called, and Kerr was doing what I was going to tell him to do, don't swing, and that's way outside for ball three. Kerr then fouls the next one back, and it's a full count on him. Kerr then swings and misses a pitch out of the zone for strike three. I should have told him not to swing. Here's Walker Cooper. Takes the ball. 1-0 the count on him. That's two feet outside, 2-0. and and That's cut on a miss for a strike, 2-1. and one. Mai stays at first base. He's not going anywhere. And there is a, a pitch put, a charge into that one to left field. Cooper hits a home run, two-run homer into left field, and it's 8 nothing Giants. And this one's turning into laughter. Now, you can talk. There's Lork hitting one to left field for an out, second out of the inning. You can talk all you want about the uh, dimensions of the polo grounds, but remember the Dodgers play with the same dimensions. 0 and 1 now, and 0 and 2 the count now on Jones, the pitcher. And uh, 1 and 2 is the count now, and Jones takes a high called third strike, and that does it. We go to the top of the sixth inning, 8 0 New York. And uh, there's a ball to Duke Snyder, 1 and 0 now the count, and uh, 2 and 0 now the count on Duke. There's a ground ball to the left side. Kerr grabs it, makes the play at first base for the out, and there's one away. It would be much more exciting if it weren't 8 nothing. Here's Carl Ferrella takes a strike and uh, fouls one off 0-2 oh, now, the pitch on Carl. 1-2 and two now, the count on him. And uh, there's another foul ball, still 1-2. and two. And that one's high and outside, 2-2. Two and two. And Jones strikes him out swinging, and that does it. Three strikeouts in the game so far for Sheldon. And they were two out away. Here's Gil Hodges, one to know the count on him. And uh, there's a grind, ground ball that gets past Gordon at third base for a base hit. Hodges now the runner at first, and here is Billy Cox. 1-0 the count on Billy Cox, who's not hitting this season. There's a little ground ball over to Kerr at shortstop, and he makes the play to second, and uh, they get the force, and that does that. We go to the bottom of the sixth inning. Still 8 nothing Giants. Sid Gordon takes a ball, 1-0. 2-0 now. 3-0, and and he's going to take this pitch. And Gordon takes the ball four all the way, and they're going to stay with Von Kuk, even though I'm going to have everybody take. Here's Marshall, and uh, boy, boy, Van Cook catches the outside corner for a strike, and they must have extended that plate. And uh, all Marshall does is he flips that one over in front of Ferrillo in right field for a base hit. Gordon's not going anywhere. We're going to play it safe here. Might as well. We have the big lead. We can do what we want. Here comes Bobby Thompson. Bobby Thompson does have the one home run today. Can he get another one? 1-0 one the count on Bobby. And uh, that's fouled off his foot, 1-1. One one. That is drilled a deep short, and uh, Reese makes the play, goes to second for one, tries to get Thompson at first, but can't. Thompson's a fast runner. Runners in first and third now. Here's Whitey Lockman, also has a home run today. Three for three today. Ball to him, 1-0 and now. 1-1 one and one now, the count on him. And that one misses for a ball, 2-1 and one now. And that's high, 3-1. and one. And there's a check swing, hit the bat, full count. 
fouls that went off. I can't tell him to take when it's a full count, and that's a pitch that was high, and Lockman walks. And here comes Bud uh, Pod Bielen. Pod Bielen comes into this game. This is looks like his first appearance. I'm sorry, no, he has had one prior appearance. He went one inning as an ERA of nine, so he gave up a run, one walk, and uh, got no strikeouts. And um, he's going to face Johnny Mize, who also has a home run in this game. Base is loaded, one out. And there's a curveball in there from Pod Bielen for a strike, and he misses with one, one, and one. Two and one now the count. And my swings and he's jammed, fouls it one back, two and two. There's a pop fly near the plate, and it's Jorgensen who's got it for the out, and that's the second out. And uh, that allows Brooklyn to heave a sigh of relief. Base is loaded now, two outs, one and no now the count on Buddy Kerr, one and one now on Kerr. And he pops that one up to Robinson at second base. Jackie makes the play. And uh, that does that. We go to the top of the seventh inning. Brooklyn's still down by eight. And uh, Campanella swings and misses and loses his bat on that one for a strike and misses another one, 0-2. Oh and, and that pitch is a little bit high, 1-2 and two now the count. There's a deep drive to center field. Bobby Thompson's got it. And uh, there's one away. Center field's deep. Jorgensen turns, uh, swings and misses uh, in the first pitch for a strike. Now he takes two balls, 2-1 two and one now. And three and one now is the count on uh, Jorgensen. And Jones misses it for a ball, and uh, that's ball four. And Jorgensen now is the uh, bat runner on first base. Jackie Robinson comes up there, gets a little ground ball over to Kerr. He makes the uh, play over to uh, second for one, but Robinson's able to uh, beat that one out at first and uh, avoid the double play. Two outs now, runner on first base. Two and oh now the count on Marv Rackley. And that's fouled back, two and one now. There's a line shot towards first foul, ball two and two. Now the count. There's a good pitch in and under the hands. Full count now in Rackley. And Rackley uh, swings, fouls that one back. Full count still. There's a fly ball in the left center field. And, Ro- and Thompson unable to get to that one. That's a base hit for Rackley. Robinson moves over to third base. Here comes Pee Wee Reese. Is this it? Well, Gene Hermansky is going to pinch hit for Pee Wee Reese. And I think the computer is giving up. I think that's what a sign that this is a sign of. Runners on first and third, and they pinch hit for Pee Wee Reese. Now, Pee Wee wasn't hitting that well, but he was hitting better than Hermansky. One and one now the count on Gene. Gordon uh, gets the uh, ground ball over to third base, uh, makes the play over to second for the out, and that does that. And uh, let's see what's happened out here. And uh, no, uh, Mixus now is uh, playing short, and uh, Hermansky's out of the ball game, and Pod Bielen is still in there. And here's Walker Cooper, takes the ball, one and no the count on him, and uh, two and no is that one was low and almost hit him. Swing and a miss, and it's two and one now is the count. And uh, Pod Bielen misses uh, three and one, and we're going to take this pitch. And uh, Cooper takes ball four. And here comes Jack Lork. You think I should bunt? We're swinging away, of course. That's a crazy question. That's a clown question, bro. Lork fouls one off, 0-1. And one. And that's in their first strike, 0-2. Oh now the count on him. Lork takes one outside, 1-2 and two the count. And there's ball 2-2-2. Two, two and two. And that is inside, full count on him. And he fouls one away, spoils it. And there's a breaking ball wide, and Pod Bielen is walking the house. And here comes Sheldon Jones, and we're going to have Sheldon swing away. And uh, there's a bouncing ball in the dirt, and Pod Bielen looks like he's about to literally fall apart there. And uh, there's a little pop-up that Robinson gets under and makes the catch on, and that's the first out of the inning. Runner's still in first and second. And uh, Gordon lays off one outside, 1-0, and now the count. And uh, there's a high pop-up, and it's an infield fly called. Hodges makes the catch, two outs now. Here's Willard Marshall takes the ball. And that one's inside ball two. Marshall with the home run already today, and that's out of way. Three and oh, now the count. And there's a fastball only for a strike. Three and one now, and there's three and two as another strike gets in there. And uh, there's a ground ball over to mix this, makes the play over to second base, and the throw on to first is not in time. And um, I'm sorry, there was no play at second base. My apologies. Um, uh, Marshall beats out the play at first base, and now the bases are loaded. And uh, we have Bobby Thompson coming up here with the bases loaded with two away. This is me falling asleep. So um, if you're watching this, and you, of course, should be to this point, um, uh, wake me up here. One and one, the count on Bobby. One and two now. That was kind of an unusual play there. Two and two. Not sure why Mixes didn't go the short way. Full count on Thompson. And Pod Bielen walks in the run. New York now leading 9 nothing as he is so scared and hitting those corners. I should say, trying to hit those corners, missing the corners so much that he walks everybody. Here's Irv Palika, and Palika comes up there with the bases loaded and uh, two outs, and here's Whitey Lockman, who already has the home run. One and no now the count on Whitey, and that goes through Campanella. That's a wild pitch, and they're going to call that a pass ball on uh, Campanella. That seems to me to be a harsh call. 
10 nothing Giants now, and Lockman is up there. First base is open. 2-0, oh, the count on him. Foul straight back. They're not going to walk him, of course. And there's ball three, and uh, we'll see if he fills the fills the bases here. Now, that's in there for a strike full count now. There's a ground ball over to mix this at short, makes the play to first, and that does it. We go to the top of the eighth. Ten nothing Giants now. That one's fouled straight back by Duke Snyder. Oh, and one the count on Duke. That one's fouled off of Cooper's mask, oh, and two. And uh, there's a ball, one and two, another count. And there's a little fly ball over to Lockman in the left field, one away. Here's Carl Ferrillo. And there's a strike to Ferrillo, 0 and 1, and that's inside and misses 1 and 1. And that's inside for ball two. Two and one now the count on him. Ferrillo gets a piece of this one, two and two. And there's a ground ball to Kurt Short. He makes the play at first for the out. Two away here, top of the eighth, 10 nothing dot or 10 nothing giants. And Hodges swings and hits a long one out to uh, Marshall in right field. He's there under it, and he makes the catch. We go to the bottom of the eighth inning. Johnny Mize coming up. Where's that mercy rule? Ball one to Mize. And there's a roller off of first base, and Hodges takes that himself for the out, and uh, we have one out here. There's a little ground ball by Kerr over to Robinson at, sh- at second for two. Yeah, that's the second out, and um, here is a uh, hit by Cooper over to left field, and it's Rackley who gets it with his speed, and he makes the third out. And uh, now here come the Dodgers in the top of the ninth. Earth Policia is um, going to lead off, and uh, Cal Abrams will come up and pinch hit for him. Cal Abrams um, has hit nothing so far this season. It says no at-bats. I know that I gave him at least one plate appearance. Um, he is not uh, a great hitter, as you can tell. No, it looks like I didn't. He must have played in the field. No plate appearances in this season so far for Cal Abrams. So he gets his first taste of action here and a laughter of a game as the Dodgers are down 10 nothing, And it's 0-2 on Abrams. Sheldon Jones pitching well. 1-2 and two now is the count on him, and uh, that's in there for a ball 2-2. Two and two. And there's a little ground ball over to Lork at second base, and uh, that one ends up uh, rolling up his arm and getting right behind him. That's the first time I've ever seen that particular air. That's an interesting mental image. And uh, you think that's one of those little magician uh, tricks that they're trying over there at second base. And uh, so Cal Abrams manages to get on first base on a wild play there by Lork at second base. Here's Roy Campanella who takes a strike, and that's inside one and one now the count on Roy. And there's a strike down the middle, one and two now. And he chases a high one out to left field. Um, Lockman's got it for the out. One away. Here's uh, Spider Jorgensen, the uh, third baseman. There's one high for a ball. One and no now the count. And there's one hit to right. And Marshall's got it away. Two away. And here we go with Jackie Robinson again. There's one outside for a ball. One and no now the count on him. One and one now. And uh, that Jones misses with that pitch. Two and one the count. And there's a third ball to Robinson. He hits a ground ball over to Kerr. Makes the quick play over to Lork at second for the out. And that does it. There's your ball game, folks. New York Giants, 10 runs on 12 hits. New York had three errors in that ball game, and it doesn't matter. The Brooklyn Dodgers, unable to score a single run against Sheldon Jones, didn't pitch spectacularly, but he pitched well enough. And, uh, boy, the Dodgers really, really are having their struggles this season. Hope you enjoyed that game regardless, and I will see you tomorrow. Take care. Bye.